good morning all uh, i am bharat tirula i work as development engineer at imagina technologies and i am one of the core of uh, open stack tacker i am going to present on creating vnfs on the fly using vnf components in the tacker till now vnf providers or the service providers launch their vnfs using uh, I, uh, img files or qq2 files or any other image format in which the network function is pre installed but this this procedure or this method won't hold true in the in future for provisioning network function uh, we will discuss why it is in the next in the next few slides and uh, and that is the theme of this presentation also so let's get started so this is the agenda we will introduce to what is uh, vnfc and we will discuss about what why we need vnfc and uh, we also uh, discuss about how we made uh, vnfc works with tacker and then we will discuss about the different drivers or different approaches we can use using vnfc and at the end uh, using clear uh, clear water ims system uh, we launch uh, the ims system using vnfc and we make a call between two mobile clients so so what is vnfc we can understand the vnfc from two different perspectives from the telco operator perspective uh, as we know nfe is uh, instead of running on the cell tower running on uh, run it on a hypervisor kind of thing so uh, the software running on top of hypervisor or uh, in other words uh, the software running inside a virtual machine or a, a container that provisions a network function is a vnfc uh, the person who writes the tosca templates uh, from his point of view a uh, vnfc is another data model node which accepts a shell script or a ansible playbook or a puppet file which installs this in a vnfc which ins installs this network function is a vnfc uh, so why we need extra nomenclature in dts a mano uh, vnfc uh, uh, many domains in the computer science have already moved to the containers world but the nfe world is still still uh, yet to reach the destination of containers uh, so once it reaches the destination of containers uh, we the service provider has to mention the installation steps to install the network function inside the containers so we don't have a specific way of mentioning how to install uh, vnf uh, network function inside a container so that uh, that is one of the reason why we need a vnfc uh, different vendors have different installation procedures of network function across all the uh, network functions so we don't have a specified a uni uh, unified interface to install the vnfc and uh, most of the images uh, as i said most of the images we, uh, the service provider uh, gives is tightly coupled with the base image the network function is tightly coupled with the base image so whenever the uh, whenever the service provider wants to upgrade or they want to apply patches on top of this vnfc it is very difficult they have to build the image give it to vnf manager they have to upload to glance and then launch the video again so which is a, a quite expensive and it takes time so uh, because of all this reason we need a vnfc how we made vnfc works with tracker so this is the changes we need in vnf descriptors so we have to uh, mention a vnfc type uh, which is of vnfc dot tacker which uh, which takes requirements as video so it depends on the video and uh, it, it takes some parameters like username uh, password credentials and then uh, in the create node it accepts the installation steps it can be a shell script or a ansible playbook and you can give the inputs uh, which which acts as a command line arguments to the shell script this is the workflow the first we have to write a vnf descriptor which has a vnfc enabled as we just saw that and once we onboard the, the first step is onboarding the vnfc into the tacker api the next step is once we onboard the vnfc a uh, vnf d uh, we will launch the vnf so once all the vdus in the vnf are active then the tacker or any other component will install the vnfc inside the videos using in, using any of the protocols so these are the different approaches for vnfc uh, as we saw in the previous template we have a vnfc driver parameter which takes sf config or ssh so one of the approach is ssh 
where once the videos are all active, the attacker will uh, sh run the shell script inside the uh, video using a SSH protocol. So that SSH driver is totally comp controlled by the attacker because it is a plugin, is one of the plugin to the attacker. So um, the main drawbacks of SSH driver is storing the user credentials. Uh, as we have uh, multiple user credentials for multiple videos, the solution is integrating Barbican with the attacker. So we will store the user credentials as a secret payload to the Barbican and all the secrets are stored in the contain Barbican container and store the container ID to the attacker DB in turn. So the other, the other uh, blocker with the SSS driver is uh, we don't know uh, we don't know when the SSS server in the inside the video is up or not. So for this we just uh, rely totally on default timeout. Once the default timeout is up and still the uh, SSS server is not up, then we just skip. So, but using the SSS driver, we can easily upgrade or uh, apply patches to the VNFC. The other uh, other VNFC driver is a heat software config. Uh, whenever you sp uh, specify VNFC driver as heat software config, Tacker will take care of creating the software config and software deployment resources inside this HOT template. So, uh, the major drawback of this is. Uh, the image, the video image should have a heat heat agents installed. Uh, I'm not sure whether the uh, VNF service providers will accept having a third party agents installed in their VNFs. So that is a major drawback of uh, using heat software config. Uh, but in the same way, the easy, it is easy to upgrade or apply patches or downgrade the VNF software inside this uh, VNF. So let's see the demo of uh, making a call using Clearwater IMS. So we will uh, first uh, have a look at uh, VNFD. So here we define the VNFC, uh, which which is dependent on Bono. So the, we have six videos for Clear Clearwater IMS. So I'm using VF VNFC driver as SSH. And I've just passed uh, Bono VNFC uh, SH shell script. So this Bono video is dependent, uh, VNFC dependent on Bono video. So I've mentioned requirements as uh, Bono. So we have defined this in similar way six videos. And then, uh, and then we define the connection points. In the connection points, it is a it's a linking between the virtual link and your and your video. So here I have mentioned floating IP as something. So I use this floating IP for the, my DNS server running on my host machine. So I have defined six uh, six connection point each for one video, and I have defined one virtual link. This is all about our VNFD, and this is a shell script which installs Bono, one of the uh, Clearwater node. Uh, so I have given all the installation steps of Bono and this is the uh, DNS server config file for uh, I have defined a config for uh, cwngb.com so I have given the floating IPs for each and every node so these are the floating IPs which I supplied in BNFD also so this uh, this DNS server is running on my host machine so the first step is onboarding the BNFD to the tacker API so using tacker vnfd command, I just onboarded the template to the tacker API. So next step is launching the vnf from the onboarded vnfd. So the, that happens through tacker vnf create command. So I just launched the vnf, so the, which, in, which includes vnfc. So we can see the status of uh, launching the vnf uh, using tacker, uh, it's not visible using tacker events list command. If you see the last event, that is VNF UUID assigned. So the logical object of VNF is just created and UUID is assigned to that VNF. So we again uh, included a events list command. It has all the installation of Homer started, completed, bonus started and completed. So total all the six videos, VNFC is installed on the videos. Now in the background, I already registered uh, one of the node of Clearwater is Ellis, which provides creation of numbers. So I have already registered, and now I will log into that uh, Ellis UI. So 
So I'm just logging into the LS UI. So I, ha I want two numbers, uh, one for one mobile client, another for another mobile client. So I've created one and creating one more. So I have six ending with 616 and 891. So I will create 616 number in my mobile client. I will show you how the registration process. So I'm just using Joyper mobile client in my mobile and I will give the same details. I'm using SIP client. So I'm using the same details wha what have given through LSUI. So these are the domain names I have given in the DNS server in uh, running on my host machine. So uh, I will give the same numbers registration process. So these uh, so these details are in uh, so uh, my mobile client is accessing the host machine as a gateway. So all the nodes floating IP can be able to access from the my mobile client. I'm giving the last turn server details, and then. So I'm just saving it. So this mobile, is, uh, this number is registered in my mobile. I will, in the background, I created. Uh, I'm just registering one more number in the another mobile client. So I'm just uh, making a call to this uh, mobile client. The other number is eight nine one. So I'm just making a call. So uh, you, this happens through VNFC. I have installed all the things, all the IMS nodes through VNFC using a shell script. So thanks for coming up. This is all about our uh, VNFC.